Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we're away to Cadiz. Got a massive match coming up after this against Real Madrid at home and then back in the Champions League against Anderlecht. Focusing on today, look at all of these flashing up. So we've got Cousin, Xerxes, Diaby, the back four. Got some players on the bench that we could have brought on as well. So we have made a few changes just to incorporate these. Should be a good match. Yeah, and we only squeaked through the last match. 1-0, a late winner from the sub, Martinelli. Had to bring him on and he did the business. It was a bit of a strange match, to be honest. Their keeper was man of the match, but they could have scored a few goals as well. And like I say, we've got that big match against Real Madrid, who are currently second. So if we could beat them, or even draw, wouldn't be a bad result. But if we could beat them, we'd have a massive lead in the league. But Diaby's through early on. And it's 1-0. Slotted away after two minutes. Star man, this Diaby. And it's Xerxes. A wonderful ball over the top. And it just calm as you like. Yeah, I love the ball through from Xerxes. A couple of touches from Diaby. Just toe port past the keeper. Well, there's a start for you. I'm so glad we got DRB. Because there was a couple of players that I was looking for a star signing. And the main area I was looking at was that right wing position. Because Carlos Perez is brilliant, but I was looking for someone that could even be better than him. And Carlos Perez is like a magnificent second choice, if you want to call him that. It's better than a second choice, really. You know, he plays a lot of matches still. All these guys do. You know, we rotate very frequently. There's Martinelli now. Xerxes. Back to Martinelli. Showing strength. Just kept it in. Cousins. Blocked. Oh, just blocked. Could they get a counter? Well, we foul them, but they get free uh, advantage, sorry. Not free kick. Good tackle there. Oh, that wasn't a free kick. Nah, not having that. That was a good tackle. First one was, and they got advantage, but... Anyway. Let's uh, keep focus. Ooh, Kusons gives it away dangerously there. It's not like him. Good tackle by Kosinu, really good tackle, had to be careful. Sixty, Martinelli, Sixty gets tackled. Martinelli, does he get fouled? Apparently not. Lovely ball by Backer. Sixty, great turn. Oh, good save. It was a tight angle, Sixty did very well. Um, hit the target Cousin's going to take this one see if we can get something out of the set piece back at oh, had flashbacks of that Teixeira goal last season which still is one of the best goals I've ever scored technically Nope, not a foul. Okay. What is going on? Does that sometimes where the players that you're controlling just decide to run off the ball? Let's tackle by Costnew. Cousins has been in very good form recently as well. So he's had a couple of outstanding displays. Giobbi in again here. And it's 2-0. It's almost an exact repeat from the first goal. Sixty again providing the assist. This time on the floor. Lovely ball. 
and a beautiful finish. Yeah, slotting it in between those two defenders and as soon as Diaby gets it, there's only one thing that's going to happen and that's the ball hitting the back of the net. But like I say, we had a... Sorry, I got lost track earlier. We, when we signed Diaby, we had a couple of players we were going after. You know, we had a very specific price range that we had to deal with. Um, I think we had about 35 million at the most we could spend, something like that, which isn't a massive amount. There was a lot of players with release clauses of, you know, way more than that. Here's Martinelli, though. That's a poor ball. And we were looking at Kang and Lee as sort of over on that right-hand side. Now, eventually we got him afterwards as well, but he's more of an attacking midfielder in that Fabio Vieira sort of role. Xerxes. Diaby Xerxes. 3-0. And the roles are reversed. Diaby with the assist this time. Nice play by Martinelli. Sixty with a nice little ball through and Diaby with the reverse. Nice finish. He just gets ahead of the defender. Just power. And this is the difference that having players on and up can make. Not always, you know, sometimes the game just doesn't go your way, but they really can win you the game quite easily. Here's Vieira showing his strength. Vieira. I should have really been a free kick and I, I would have preferred to keep continue, which I did, but um certainly affected the shot itself. Vieira, now Vieira. Emerson, haven't seen much of him. Oh, it's a nice ball. Zixi. Emerson again. Zixi. Ah, just over. Nice cross, but it was difficult to get any sort of accuracy and power at the same time. Got too much in it, really. Nice tackle by Cousins. But somehow didn't uh, get the ball. Keep the ball rather. Nice tackle again. And a nice ball through to Martinelli. Oh my word. What a strike. I love that image. <laughs> it doesn't be quiet. Cousins all the hard work making the tackle and it's a beautiful ball through but look at this strike absolutely smashed past the keeper didn't even take a touch just smashed it in I had a feeling we'd have a good game with all those ups, but sometimes it disappoints you and it just doesn't work out. But this half, I mean, that's fast start we had after just under two minutes. You know, Diaby getting in from that beautiful ball from Xerxes. Cousins is really, really... Come on, leaps and bounds. Remember, he's a free signing when we got him. Here's Xerxes. Now Diaby... Oh, it's wide. I think that's the first chance we've actually missed. As in, not on target. The rest we've either scored or the keeper's made a save. Is it say, ah, it's half time. We'll jump into the second half. And as you can imagine, stats-wise, I think we had 57% possession. But more importantly, we had 10 shots, 7 on target. And four goals. It's the goals that matter. I know it seems obvious, but a lot of people do focus on possession and all this stuff and passes and 
Ah, just hit the ball in the back of the net, basically. Here's the RB. Ooh, that could have been a free kick. I don't know if he took his leg just as he shot there. Couldn't have got the ball. Nice header there. Now Vieira. Herrera. Cousins again. Cousins. Oh, what a finish. What a star this guy is. In one of those games. Cousins gets the ball. Has no other thought but to smash it in the net. What a finish. Keepers. No keeper in the world is going to save that. Twenty yards out, absolutely hour in the corner. And you know, it's not just the goals today; it's the quality of the goals we've had, the quality of the play, the chances. You know, there's, it's not been tap-ins. Now Martinelli, Zixi. Oh, that was ambitious. Well wide in the end, but um, going for the absolute spectacular there. Jobby into Vieira. Nice play. Oh, Vieira loses it, though. Great tackle from Omaradzic. Now possibly a counter-attack. Sixy, Diaby, ah, uh, defenders did well actually. Now we will look to make some subs once the ball goes out. Keep some fresh legs for the Real Madrid match. Here's Martinelli. Oh, saved. And that'll go out for a throw in, hopefully. We'll make some subs. And we're going to bring on Carlos Perez for a DRB. Ruben Castro up top for Xerxi. And Fabio Vieira can go off. And Mudrik's going to play in that attack midfield role, which he's played a few times and excelled every time he's done that. Yeah, being able to bring on Carlos Perez and Castro and Mudrik as well. It's uh, quite frankly ridiculous when you're already 5 0 up. Here's Perez. Nice play to Martinelli. Castro. Oh, just wide. I thought that was going to hit the back of the net there. You'd expect that from Castro. He does that better than anyone, though. That turn. That ball into him with his back to goal. And that turn and normally finish. Good tackle. Castro into Martinelli now. Free kick. I was going to say that was a foul. Referee did well there. Actually tried to play advantage, but didn't come to anything. I think we'll have Cousins take this. Oh, decent ball. And Costney manages to win it back. Now Mudrick. Cousins, Martinelli, I uh, couldn't find uh, Cousins or Castro. Man of match probably will go to DRB or Xerxes. I, I think DRB. Um, but what I would say is Cousins again has been brilliant. Here's Mudrick. Oh, it's the how did he even get that strike away? So unlucky to hit the post. What a strike. Just owned up his body in first time shot and someone got all that power on it as well. It wasn't just the um well, I say accuracy hit the post, but you know what I mean. Oh Madrick again. 
Not really any space for him to go. Uh, Carlos Perez. Perez! I'm not sure what happened there. Obviously deflected, but my eyes kind of uh, deceived me. I'll not watch that again, actually. Comfortable in the end. Very good free kick uh, corner, but just couldn't get the power into it. Nice little ball through to Mudrick. Mudrick again. <laughs> he's been on fire since he's come on. He's got a few shots away. He hasn't got anything from it yet, but. He seems to be very good in that attacking midfield of all. Now Mudrick again. Back there. Well mopped up by Herrera. A nice ball forward through to Martinelli. Castro. Carlos Perez. Should have scored there. And that's got to be a foul. Since you stopped from getting the rebound. Good tackle from Omaradzic. Nice little ball into Martinelli. Oh, he doesn't react very well. I'm not sure how we didn't get the ball there. What's going on? <laughs> I thought Castro literally had the ball. He does now. Plays a nice little ball through to Modric. Oh, should have scored. Or at least not hit the goalkeeper. Uh, the Defend it. Ruben Castro. Castro again. How hasn't there been six? It's probably me being a bit greedy, but... Yeah, strange. Castro. Ah, straight at the keeper. Comfortable save. And that'll finish 5-0, but what a game this has been ahead of uh, our match to Real Madrid. There it is. Maybe DRB man of the match? Yeah, Cadiz just didn't put up any sort of fight, really, in terms of they had no attacks. We had a massive majority of possession and passes, but look at that, 22 shots. Could have been a lot more than five. Man of the match, DRB, but Xerxes getting a 7.5. Kusan's getting a 7, I like to say that. Can't really disagree with the, the man of the match. It was probably going to be DRB or Xerxes. DRB is such an electric player. And that's it for today, guys. But as you can see, a massive match coming up at home to Real Madrid. We're currently two points ahead of them in the league. If we can win that, it'll just put a massive gap between us. And that 5-0 performance puts us in good stead going into that match. So please join us for that one. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And drop a comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.